Anyway, so I thought I'd go ahead and film this one. It, it, it's just a wheat, but it is a 1918 wheat. So they're getting older. I'm under a clothesline. Uh, of course, always a great spot. And I was through here uh, Thursday night, but quickly because I went towards the front yard. But I'm in the backyard today, and uh, today this is the third wheat penny. I didn't clean the other two good enough to get dates off of them yet, but I'll clean them up and post them when I get home, and I'll get back with you if I find anything more. Hey guys, another wheat. Uh, this one's uh, 1920, and it was down, oh good, five inches. So I'll get back with you. Well guys, that's about it for that yard. Uh, come up with four more wheats today. Uh, an hour into the hunt, I, I told myself I'm not leaving here till I find another silver coin, but about five hours into the hunt, I decided that meant I was going to have to move in with Verna, which wouldn't work, so. Uh, just didn't happen today, but four more weeks, uh, two 1920s and two 1918s. Uh, found 27 cents in the clad. Back by the garden, there were some what's it's that I, I picked up, uh, this whole Jeep car, and I thought that was a little trinket box, but when I cleaned it up and got looking closer at it, it's the base of a lock with the loop rotted off of it, so kind of a neat old lock, but, uh, and then uh, a heel plate, and that's all I picked up today, and oh gosh, pretty close to five hours, so, but that, that was a total of uh, 11 wheat, an indent, and two mercury dimes out of that yard. So it was good, but I went over it every which way, 90 degree swipes, and then, you know, went 45 degrees caddy corner back over, and they're just, I don't think there's anything else there to find. So um, I'll be moving on down the road. Thanks for watching.